Hello guys, welcome back to the Debug Arena. In this video, we are going to see React Navigation. In our application, we will be having home screen. From home screen, user can navigate to profile screen. Also, we will be having one screen name as all user, where all the registered user in our application will be mentioned there and we might have some more screens. So, the question is, how we can navigate between those screens? Unlike HTML or ReactJS, we cannot navigate between the screens directly by using anchor tag. For that, we will need this library named as React Navigation. React Navigation helps us to navigate between the screens in React Native. Not only this, it also provides much more feature than that. So we are going to see all these things in this video. So without any delay, let's get started. So the first thing is to install this React Navigation library. For that, you can go to Google, search for React Navigation, click on the first link. You will come here, click on this read docs. I hope you know that the best way to learn anything is to differ from its documentation. So I will come here, scroll a little bit down. So first I'm going to install this package name as React Navigation Native. I've already installed it. So let's go down. Then we have to install these two packages name as React Native Screens and React Native Safe Area Context. You know in React Native there are three types of navigator. Stack Navigator, Draw Navigator and Bottom Tab Navigator. In this video, we are going to cover Stack Navigator. It doesn't matter what navigator you use, we have to install these three packages. After this, I'm going to use Stack Navigator. So for that, I have to install one more package. So you can come here, scroll a little bit down. And let's install this package name as React Navigation Native Stack. I have already installed it. Okay, so to confirm whether your packages have been installed successfully or not, you can go to package.json and if you find names of the packages which you have installed with their corresponding versions, then it is successfully installed. Now let's go to app.jsx. Here you can see I am currently rendering this component name as home screen. Inside home screen, I am having nothing just this two text component and some styling. So let's apply stack navigator. So the question is, what is Stack Navigator? Stack Navigator helps us to navigate between the different screens. Like if I click on the profile button, it will help me to navigate to the profile screen. Not only this, it will also provide some methods that will help me to create a header, to change the header. Even I can change the appearance of the header. I can enable the back button. I can disable the back button. I can add icon there and there are many more things. So let's apply it. So to use Stack Navigator, we can go to documentation. Scroll a little bit down. Here you can see the example of Stack Navigator. So I will copy these two lines, paste it in my code. So here I have imported this navigation container from this React Navigation slash native, which was our parent package. After that, I have imported this create native Stack Navigator, which is the Stack Navigator which I'm going to use in this video. So let's use it. There are two ways we can use Stack Navigator. The first one is like this. We can write here create stack navigator and inside this we can pass the stack of our screens. So let me just show you. So this will be the name of my screen and after that this will be the component like this home screen. Same thing if I will have another page name as details. Here I can pass my component name as details and in this way I can pass all my screens. But you can see if I will have large number of screens it will not look good. Also, if I try to pass any style here, it will not look good. That's why we are going to use the second way. For that, I will remove this. I will create a variable name as stack. And I will assign that variable to it. Now, let's remove this home screen. I will write like this. And as you know, this is the parent package. So, we are going to use this component as the container. So, I will write here. It is the parent component. So, it will wrap all the navigation happening in our app. So I will write like this. Inside this, I will pass stack dot navigator. Okay. So I will write like this. I will hit enter. This will act as a wrapper for our screens. And this parent navigation container will act as a wrapper for our navigations. Like we can write here another stack navigator by creating another variable. Okay. I hope you got it. Now inside this, let's register one screen. So we can register screen like this stack dot screen. Inside this, I can pass name. The name of my screen will be home. And after that, I will pass component. Component is my home screen. This is the component which I've been imported here. It is the same. Now I will come here, hit save. And let's see what is happening. Let me just reload the app. And here you can see, I'm getting this React navigation. This is home screen. 
which is the content inside this home screen component but also we are getting this header that means our stack navigator have been applied successfully so to know it better let's create another components so i will come here i have created this folder name as screens inside this i'm going to put all my screens so let me just quickly make two more screens one will be profile screen other one will be user screen i will copy this I will paste it here I will do control D user screen here I can write this is user screen I will remove this line hit save I will come here paste that profile screen I will remove this this will be profile okay done now let's come here let's register other screens also for that I can copy paste this instead of home I will pass the profile whatever name you will pass here it will be shown inside this header and inside the component I will pass profile screen it is already imported I will hit save let me try to register another component name as user screen so I will come here user and I will write here user screen so you can see nothing is happening it is because we are not able to see these two strings so the first thing is inside this stack navigator it has some props to see that you can press control space bar and you can see all these things so here inside this we have this option name as initial route name and if I change it to profile and then I hit save and let's reload the application and here you can see I'm getting this text okay this is some random text so I will just delete this profile screen okay and you can see I'm getting this profile screen it is because I've registered it as initial route name here whatever name you will pass it will be the first component to be rendered here okay so here I have registered all my screens so now let's try to navigate between them for that I will create a button at home screen so I will come here I will write here button like this inside this I will pass title as profile I will hit save and I am getting this button now you know when we have registered the screens inside this parent component navigation container and this stack navigator this both these two are passing a props to it so I will come here I will receive that props and let's try to see what are we getting inside that props so I will write here props I will hit save and you can see I am getting navigation here with the help of navigation I can navigate to other screen so here inside button I will come I will write press inside this I will pass this arrow function now here I can write props dot navigation which I'm getting from that parent component I will write here navigate which is a method provided by navigation and here I can pass my screen name this screen name is referring to the name registered in the stack navigator now I will hit save and when I click on profile you can see it is navigating to profile screen so in this way you can navigate to other screen not only this we can navigate also and while navigating we can pass data also for that the place where I have written this profile I can write here comma inside curly bracket I can pass here name as Adarsh and I will hit save now I will go to profile screen here also I will receive the props now here I will try to console.log that props let's hit save let's reload the application to see it from start and here you can see currently I'm at home screen I will click on this profile and I'm navigating to this profile screen this is the console which we got and here I'm getting this route so inside this route you can see I'm having this params name as Adarsh which I'm sending from this screen so in this way you can pass the data from one component to other or you can say one screen to other in react native so let's get that data this is profile screen instead of this I will write here my name so for that we can use like this inside this I will pass props it was inside this route you can see here props.route inside route it is inside params so I will write here params inside that params I am passing this name when I hit save you can see I am getting others let's go back this button you will get by default when you click on it it will go back to the previous screen when I go to profile I'm getting this others okay it is also done let's create a button here to go to user screen so I will come here copy this here I will not pass any data for that I will remove this I will write here user 
title will be user and you know if you try to write this navigation props dot navigation and you are getting a message like navigation is not defined in that case you can refresh or reload your application or then also if it doesn't work you can use react navigation hooks name as use navigation button doesn't exist so let's import it done now i'm at profile let's go to profile and here you can see i'm getting this button let's go to user and i'm here at the user screen so in this way we can navigate from one screen to other screen with or without data also we can go back with the help of this button now let's go to app.jsx so here you can see when we have used this stack navigator the one thing that is generated is this header so let's customize it for that we can customize it in two ways if we customize it here it will be applied for all the screens we can also customize for each of the screens particularly so let me just do that for that i am going to use attribute here name as options so i will write it like that i can pass here title inside title i will pass home screen when i save it i will go to home and you can see my title have been changed to home screen now i will write here header style inside this i will pass background color as orange i will hit save and you can see our background color has been changed to orange now let's try to change this status bar for that i can come to this options and i can write here status bar color and we can change it to 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 white no we can change it to orange and i will hit save and you can see it is looking good but this home screen is not looking that much good so let's change the color of that also so i will come here right header tint color to i will give it white so it is f f f and i will hit save you can see it has been changed to white okay this home screen should be in center for that we can write here header title align and it will be center and when i hit save it has been moved to center so in this way you can customize your header but now you can see if i go to profile it is same as before because we haven't applied this to all the screens so let's do that so i will come here i will remove these options like this i will control x here and i will come inside my stack navigator here we have screen options not just options and in that i can pass this and when i do that and when i hit save and when i go to profile you can see it is again okay from here i have to remove this title okay now it's save now i am at home screen now i will go to profile and you can see it is looking good now i will go to user it has been applied there also now what if i don't want to show header in some screens for that you can come to that particular screen right here options inside options you can write header shown and you can mark it to false and when you do that you can see header has been gone now let's bring the header back okay so it is not compulsory that you use this header only like you can create your own customized header and then pass it here as a component also so i will not create header but i am going to show you the customized text instead of this back button so for that i will first hide this back button so i will write here header back visible you can explore all these attributes to work with it better and i will write it as false and it has been gone now to render a custom component here i can write here header left inside left i can pass here like this it is same like creating the component inside this i will pass return and i will pass here text this text and i will show hi and when i hit save you can see i'm getting this hi here and if i write the function here then it will take me to the previous screen in this way you can not only customize the default header but you can create a new one and pass it like as this component and it will work that's it about the stack navigator i hope you have learned about the react navigation now in the next video i will cover the draw navigator and we will merge stack and draw navigator and i will show you the difference stay tuned for that and don't forget to hit like and subscribe thank you